Huh, once more. Hopefully less destructive. Uh, by the way, I'm using different magnets, as you may see. Well, probably not, but... Uh, ooh, that's zoomed in. So 50 uh, times 3 times 3, so uh, and 52, by the way. So thicker as the previous ones, and also stronger as the previous ones. And I'm gonna use them in push-pull. Might be complete overkill and a bit weighty. I wish they were 2 millimeters thick, or 2.5, but, well, they are not, so... Well, I have to do with it, and uh, I have to find a way to secure it in the frame, yeah. Normally, I'll leave something on the back side of the frame, but uh, I don't have HPL in 6mm. Uh, I run out, so I only have 4mm. These magnets are 3, uh, and then the excursion of the foil is like 1mm, could be less, actually. So that leaves nothing to hold the magnets. So it's gonna be a glue glue job, I guess. camera overheated, or camera, my phone, stupid iPhone, they do that. So we have a piece of metal here. Uh, attach some of this nice PE tape. What's up, really nice tape. I would like to have a flat metal plate, but I don't actually own any flat metal plate. What I do have is uh, some perforated sheet metal. So these are the new magnets, uh, but since they're square, uh, it's... Well, you have to find out which, which side is what, which is quite annoying. So... What I tend to do is, if you flip it over, and it still sticks, then at least one of these sides is north or south. I'll show you if it was. If I rotate then, you can, uh, so it sticks, if I swap it over, it doesn't. So that means that I have to move, move it a quarter, now it does. So one of these sides is north, one of is south. I don't really care which one is which. As long as I know uh, that this is the correct size and not uh, like 90 degree wrong. Is this uh, it's not very helpful, I think. Uh, but I want to mark them, so just gonna attach them again. Shit. Slide them apart. Yeah. A bit. Just enough so I can uh, mark them. <clears throat> so, oh, and don't break them. So, I got a frame. This is one of these frames. It has a cutout for the magnet, but uh, it's not holding it in place here. So, I have to glue it. Hopefully, that works. I'm not sure if that works. I rather had like a little bit thicker 
material uh, so this this side was still closed but I don't have any so you know I have to think of something so I leave the protective film on because I hope the epoxy doesn't adhere to it also the PE tape is there so the epoxy doesn't adhere to it and if I dump on the thing like this um, and actually I should hold it down somehow maybe add some weight, I don't know shall I do two in one go? would be nice I need five seven I got here take a look at my magnet collection And another three. Let's mark them as well. It's uh, four. I grabbed four. Even more stuff fucked. Okay. So I got two of these. So this one hardened, which is amazing. Or did it? It looks like one of the the resin did, how, how? Maybe spilled something in here. Well. Sign Acrylate. By far the worst choice, but I am gonna use it. So. Black side, top. Oop. Hey, this should fit, come on. So this one doesn't need any glue, I think. This one we turn around. I hope the glue will hold it and not like pop magnets out. That would be uh, quite annoying. So this is rather thick, it might be too thick. Let's just try. So, as you can see, I'm uh, impatient. Hopefully it holds when I do that. So there is some spillage. I'll use some uh, accelerator to harden it. Yeah. 
So this is not the way to go. I mean, this is the only way I could go right now. Uh, there's still a protective film, so I should be able to remove the protective film and get rid of all this crappy glue here. Uh, but, uh, oh. This driver is gonna be massive. Might be a little bit <laughs> too much. So i probably try it first single-ended because these are quite powerful magnets <coughs> for their size. Um, but yeah, uh, next time I would like to use a thicker material and not do this kind of stupid stuff. I needed 6mm HPL or 5 if it is. Not sure if it exists 5, at least not in black. Almost nothing exists in, the, in this nice black, but in the end you won't see uh, the, the frame, so actually the color doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, thicker material would be nicer to use. I could use something else, other plastic maybe, but HPL is really stiff, which is a good thing. Unfortunate also not the lightest material, but... Uh, yeah, I'll let it sit here and then I'm trying to peel off this uh, protective film and hopefully I can glue it to some foil. I was saying I'll get the headphone because uh, the camera died of course. I got such a nice iPhone, it's insane. So uh, it's a really shitty, um, shitty Sennheiser. Uh, they make good stuff but this is not one of it. Uh, I use this uh, normally or I used it that's why it doesn't have a um, cable anymore as a uh, sort of um, yeah what is it called actually well if I'm using the table saw which I don't have or just a normal circular saw I could run around with paper uh, stuffed in my ears but uh, this works uh, anyhow uh, so it is a kind of smallish thing and also a weird design so I have to design it that I can use this headband because I don't have any headbands. And it's not like this is great of course, but I'm not, uh, yeah, let this be clear. I'm not making a high-end fancy-pansy uh, headphone. What I'm doing here is just making a headphone or at least try to since I'm only making tweeters and such. But I thought it would be nice for a change. So. That's the whole story. So it's gonna be two parts. Uh, this part here is gonna be uh, a little bit thicker. Yeah, actually 80 millimeters. So that might be a problem. Uh, maybe I'll have to make it a little bit smaller. But it has to fit two of these frames. So it has to be thicker. And then another piece comes uh, on top of that. And hopefully I can stretch this far enough to put it in there. I doubt it by the way, might actually break. But uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't have any fancy headbands and such. I had a frame of a, or of a rip off, uh, what was it? Biodynamic 700 or so? 770? I don't know, this studio uh, thing. There are some uh, knockoffs that you can buy, which are nice to like, I wanted to make an ESL or EST uh, version of uh, something in there because it's quite it has a big cup, and yes, it is ugly, but I don't really care. It's all about function. But uh, I think I gave it away or something because I cannot find it. I looked everywhere, but uh, it's gone. <clears throat> so, but these fit quite nicely. Foil is so light. It went flying. So this is kind of a became a mess because it's so thin, as you can see. But I think we'll manage still. It needs to be like this. You you think what what is this mess? I'm pretty sure I'll get it on there. I ran out of my favorite gaffer tape, so I'm gonna use some painter's tape. Because it doesn't have to hold much. 
Hopefully that works. And I use a heat gun to uh, get it even again. I cannot put too much tension on it because you might rip the coil. might be thinking that looks terrible it does kind of but that's okay Does it look terrible? Yes, it does. Hmm. Okay, got my uh, 30 and a half. I did a measuring, which is kind of dumb, but I'm not gonna redo it because I'm lazy and hope for the best. Actually, I'm not that lazy if you're, if you're seeing what I'm doing, which is of no use at all. So I'm not that lazy, but uh, okay, so okay. trying not to put glue on the inner side. Heat gun time. I forgot something. That's stupid. I had to countersink these holes for the screw. I found that out on time so it's that hole and that hole so I countersunk it and I taped it off to not get shit everywhere and I reapply some of the glue not as crucial as uh, with the tweeters for instance because the tension is almost nothing so that's good uh, let's uh, dry it now the money shot or the insane failure this should line up mm. let's see E knife. Yeah. Oh. 
And why is it still stuck? What the fuck? Hmm, that's weird. Now push it in there. It's uh, lower, I think. I might not stretch it this time. See what it does, because I like heat gun it. Because I've seen some foils and they were really like shitty stretched. So maybe this is uh, a common thing, I don't know. Maybe this is normal. Let's not get them too close together. Let's attach some um, terminals. Now I need some M3. Is this M3? This is M4. Nuts. Where are my nuts? Yeah, yeah, my nuts. Uh -huh. uh, well, they're lost. Maybe in the living room I left my nuts. There's still some paper on here. I need to get rid of that. So I'm gonna hold it on the on, under the water for a little bit. Okay, scary part. This time I don't have uh, this stupid metal on the other side. That's good. So this fits. That's nice. This fits too. I see the terminal is really on the edge, which is, might be a problem, so... In the future, not now. So I need uh, to position the terminal like this, or... 
Not sure yet. Or it won't fit into the cup. Also, I need to make a cutout in the cup for this terminal, which I didn't do yet. But that's good to know. See, we can measure it. Fourteen point nine ohm, so it's uh, not broken. That's good. I'm gonna attach it and uh, have a small listen. So I should be able to. Well, this cannot fit on here straight, straight away. I could add the other half, push pull half, but I think that's a bit scary for now. So I have to puncture it. This so if I am gonna attach the other half uh, I won't rip the foil but if I attach the other half I could apply a ear pad shall I try let me see if I have some, these are 4 millimeter nuts and 4 millimeter Might as well try, why not? I really hope I don't screw it up Yeah. So, oh, let me clean this back side off first. I have one that is clean. This is going to be tricky. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. Should like uh, countersink these so the ear pad can sit on there because now it cannot. Or um, next time use smaller holes and tap threads into it. Uh, 
I'm having a hard time now getting a good seal, I think. If any. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Maybe like this. Other way around. <clears throat> so that sucks. Hmm. Let's see. 